Dubai is making headlines with its newest marvel, a $35 billion mega airport, Al Maktoum International. Designed to solve the overwhelming congestion at Dubai International Airport, this colossal project will stretch over 70 square kilometers, handling an astounding 260 million passengers annually. Set to be the largest airport in the world, it promises to alleviate the pressure and transform global air travel. The construction is already in full swing, promising a facility that will set new global standards. But the sheer scale isn't the only jaw-dropping aspect. The airport is designed to include futuristic technology and seamless operations, promising to revolutionize air travel as we know it. With this monumental shift on the horizon, the questions remain. Why is Dubai building this brand new giant of an airport? And how will it shape the future of global travel for the country? On April 17, 2024, Dubai International Airport, or DXB, faced an unprecedented crisis. Severe weather conditions had caused massive disruptions, with flooding and road blockages crippling transport options for arriving and departing passengers. The airport was forced to limit access to Terminal 1 strictly for travelers with confirmed departures due to severe overcrowding. Passengers were stranded, flights were delayed or diverted, and the airport's operational capacity was stretched to its limits. The chaos was a stark reminder of the growing pains DXB had been experiencing. Back to 2023, DXB handled nearly 87 million passengers, a figure that surpassed pre-pandemic levels and cemented its position as the world's busiest airport for international travel. The airport has been breaking records, with an 8.4% rise in passenger traffic in the first quarter of 2024, compared to the previous year, reaching approximately 23 million passengers between January and March alone. By the end of the year, the airport is expected to handle a record 91 million passengers, exceeding its previous high of 89.1 million in 2018. The surge in passenger numbers has placed enormous pressure on DXB's infrastructure. The airport is connected to 256 destinations across 102 countries, with India, Saudi Arabia, and Britain being the top three countries by passenger numbers. Despite its vast network and extensive facilities, DXB is struggling to keep up with the demand. The solution to this looming crisis lies in Al Maktoum International Airport also known as Dubai World Center, or DWC. Announced with grand ambitions, this new mega-hub promises to redefine global aviation standards. While the airport has primarily served cargo operations and executive jets, its transformation into a passenger mega-hub is already underway. This new development is not just an expansion, but a strategic realignment. Dubai's rulers understand the importance of maintaining the city's status as a premier global hub. The massive $35 billion investment into DWC is a testament to their commitment to innovation and excellence. The new airport will also be the centerpiece of Dubai South, a sprawling urban district that will house a million residents and create a bustling aerotropolis around the aviation sector. As the construction progresses, the engineering marvels of Al Maktoum International Airport will soon come to light. How will this new mega-hub overcome the challenges that stifled DXB? The sheer scale of this project is staggering. The new airport is set to cover more than 70 square kilometers. That's not just an expansion, but a complete transformation. It's like building a small city dedicated entirely to air travel. The project is being developed in phases to ensure that each stage is completed with precision and quality. The first phase of construction is already underway, and it's monumental in scale. One of the standout features is Concourse 1. To give you an idea of its enormity, Concourse 1 will stretch 2.7 kilometers in length and cover almost 1.8 million square meters. 
that's the equivalent to all three concourses currently operating at Dubai International Airport combined. Imagine walking through an airport that long. It's like traversing a small city. This concourse alone will have 100 contact gates, which means fewer delays and faster boarding processes. But it's not just about the length. The design incorporates state-of-the-art technology and passenger convenience at every turn. Automated systems will be in place to streamline the passenger experience from check-in to boarding. A West Terminal building will also be constructed in the first phase. This terminal will be the central hub for all operations and will house numerous amenities for travelers. Think of luxury lounges, high-end retail shops, and a wide variety of dining options. It's designed to cater to every need, ensuring a comfortable and enjoyable experience. Getting around such a massive airport could be a challenge, but not here. An automated people mover system will be built with four initial stations, ensuring passengers can quickly and easily navigate the airport. This system will transport passengers seamlessly from one end of the concourse to the other, reducing the time and effort required to move through the airport. Two new runways will be added to the existing two, bringing the total to four. This will significantly increase the airport's capacity for takeoffs and landings, making it one of the most efficient airports in the world. The first phase will also include a comprehensive ground service equipment road network. This network will facilitate the movement of service vehicles around the airport, ensuring that planes are serviced quickly and efficiently. From fueling to maintenance, every aspect of ground service will be optimized for speed and efficiency. As the project moves into Phase 2, the construction efforts will ramp up even further. Another concourse, identical and parallel to Concourse 1, will be built. This new concourse will feature three additional people mover stations, expanding the transportation network within the airport. This phase will also see the construction of two more runways, bringing the total to six. The final phase of the project will involve the construction of Concourse 3 and 4, as well as an east terminal. This phase will also reduce the connection to the Trans-UAE rail system, known as Etihad Rail, and an expansion of the planned metro line. This integration will create a seamless transportation network, linking the airport to major cities and regions across the UAE. Imagine arriving at the airport and stepping directly onto a high-speed train that can take you anywhere in the country. The People Mover system will be expanded to 14 stations on a full loop, ensuring that every part of the airport is easily accessible. This will make moving through the airport a breeze, even during peak travel times. Sustainability is a central theme in the construction of Al Maktoum International Airport. The airport will incorporate numerous green technologies to minimize its environmental impact. Solar panels will be installed on the roofs of the terminal buildings to generate renewable energy. Energy-efficient lighting and climate control systems will reduce power consumption. Water conservation measures, such as rainwater harvesting and efficient irrigation, will manage the airport's water use sustainably. One of the most exciting aspects of Al Maktoum International Airport is its integration with Dubai South, a planned urban district that will surround the airport. This area will be developed into a bustling aerotropolis, a city centered around the airport, with residential, commercial, and industrial zones. The construction of the airport is not just about building infrastructure, it's about creating an experience. The terminal buildings will feature world-class amenities. Passengers will have access to spa services, fitness centers, and even indoor gardens creating a tranquil and enjoyable environment amidst the hustle and bustle of air travel. One of the most impressive features of Al Maktoum International Airport is its capacity. The airport will be able to handle up to 260 million passengers annually. To put that into perspective, that's nearly three times the number of passengers that DXV currently handles. This massive capacity is crucial as Dubai continues to grow as a major global hub. The new airport will also handle 12 million tons of freight each year, making it a central player in international trade and logistics. The project is a testament to Dubai's vision and ambition. It represents a bold step into the future, 
positioning the city as a global leader in aviation. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment below with your thoughts on Dubai's new airport. Don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss an update on our latest content.